Hey guys, good morning. Coming to you from Desert Center, California. And if I'm not mistaken, and I could be, we're going to get in there in a minute because it's open to the weather, but this looks like a school because it looks like an auditorium off to that far side. Believe it or not, it's a really nice brick building. Well, here was the uh, here was the kitchen area. As you can see, the roof is starting to go away. It's uh, it's been open to the weather for a while. Let's peek around the back here. What blows my mind here, guys, is there are just literally hundreds of palm trees that are laying down out here. I know it's hard to see, but right between us and that highway. It's just, it's just hundreds of palm trees laying down. And I don't know how they fell over, if, they, if there's no water here for them. Anyways, this was uh, looks like the kitchen. Pretty dark in here. Yeah, this definitely, this was the auditorium, however, oh boy, look at the piano. Look at the piano. Here's the name badge on it right here. New York. Now this is a small auditorium but that was the stage up here unfortunately all the windows are been broken out the roof most of it is uh, fallen down it's open to the weather so all the tiles have fallen down but uh, isn't it interesting that this little raised area here was their stage wouldn't you love to have seen a production here? Seen these kids. Now here's either the, this is another piano. Sterling Company. This one's from Connecticut. Boy, I don't know if that's restorable. I kind of doubt it, but anyways, we're going to go out the back here. What's puzzling me is where are the school, where are the rooms? Where did they teach school? Well, there wasn't many rooms, that's for sure. The old signature tile roof. Now this is getting a little more interesting because I see booths back in there. This had to be just a regular old, kind of a large schoolhouse room. I'm walking on broken glass, so trying to be a little bit careful. I hear birds in here, so. Why there would be a booth in that corner, I really don't know. However, there is some facilities here, sinks and stuff. Boy, a long, what may have been a serving table of some kind. Not sure, guys. They put a suspended ceiling in it, which is all but gone after the original ceiling when they built the school was there. So they did do a little upgrading here, but uh, would be curious to find out when this school actually closed up. Here are those palm trees. I mean hundreds of them. Laying, laying in the desert. Did they fall over where they were? I think they did. I don't think they drug them there. This looks like maybe we're getting to the, the restroom area or as they call them in school, the laboratories. 
here's another little room looks like maybe looks like maybe a store storage room well here are all those booths again surprised there's still as much electrical in here as uh, there is Yeah, we don't we don't frequent the bathrooms guys. We just leave those for the next guy to let us know. Here was a here was an added ramp here, maybe for wheelchair access. Well, definitely an old brick schoolhouse. And from when and what era we really don't know. I'm sure there's some history here. If anybody can help us out, certainly do so. We have not researched any information online. I think we're going to leave that for some of our good viewers to let us know what they find. That would be a little bit more fun. All right, guys, we're back around the front side here. I find something else kind of interesting is these stanchions coming off the roof. It looks like, I don't know what they were for, maybe louvers. Somebody has spent the money to uh, put up what looks like some 9 or 10 feet uh, plywood OSB across the front. So anyways, guys, we're going to get on to the next place. Any interest in this or anybody knows anything about this uh, this old closed schoolhouse, please let us know. All right, guys. Day two road trip, spring of 2018, Nevada Arcade. Out.